Hey everybody, it's Baseball435 here, and I'm back with another video on Minecraft, um, and this one is going to be in uh, on Computercraft. Um, my last video was of my game that I was working on, and um, this one's about something that I've been working on aside from that. I'm working. I, oh, sorry about the lag, by the way. Um, I've been working on this for about uh, a few hours now, uh, four or five uh, altogether, and um, yeah, so it's practically an operating system. Uh, which is practically just like a com a, com ugh, a, com a computer, and um, it's kind of like a computer inside of a computer in Minecraft. So um, I'll show you how I made it, and well, not how I made it. I'm going to show you it in action, I guess you would say. So I'm just going to make a new computer, and I'm going to drop the floppy disk into it. Whoa. Now we have oh, we're on one. Alright, anyways. Uh, yeah. Alright, dirt disk. Alright, so then we're going to do. I'm going to copy it over. Uh, so now it's just going to start up when the computer starts. And um, here's my um, operating system. I just named it base OS for now. Um, I There's a few th few things you have to do before you can start using it. Um, show, so you have to type in show setup. It's one of the options, it's kind of hidden. But um, you press, you have to create dat the databases and files that are going to hold the accounts and stuff like that. So you have to do that one first. It does it automatically, by the way. And then um, you have to go back. I have to change that. And then you have to make the admin account, which is automatically generated. It does it by itself too. Um, so that's the easy part. Um, wait for this. And then we're going to go back by pressing three. And now we're going to register a new account. So we're going to type in two. And now we're going to type in our username, I'm going to name it base, and then test. And then wait for that, create a new account. Account created successfully. Um, now, with most programs uh, in Computercraft, if you exit out of a um, program, or if you restart it or something, it's going to automatically just get rid of everything that happened in the program. It's going to like reset it all, all the information. So um, you would think it would do it with this, but it doesn't. So if I press control and S and it shuts it down I turn it back on uh, and then I can do uh, login and to base test it remembers my information and it logs me in now I do have error checking too so hold on a second uh, when you log in uh, the, this stuff comes up you have uh, four options to run a program to add a program uh, to change a password or to log out um, the first second and then log out are the only ones that works to so change password I haven't added in yet but it'll be easy probably like a half an hour to make less than that um, so I'm gonna log you I'm gonna log out and I'm gonna show you that you can't uh, log in with the wrong password or username or password or anything so if I just type in a random username and a random password wait for it the username or password is incorrect and it'll take me back and then um, if I type in a, a username like base but I type in like the wrong password it still does the same thing so you can't log in unless you know the right stuff so that does work um, and then register if there's already an account with the same name uh, then it won't let you register so account already exists and then it's going to take you back um, so uh, this was all made by, B by me by the way um, I coded all of this I didn't use any uh, I didn't copy and paste anything off the internet I, li I literally typed it all in the, uh, all in the game, um, and I didn't really use any references except for me like a few Lua, uh, Lua things, which is the the programming language. But anyways, um, I'm gonna log in. I'm gonna show you what you can do with this. So there's there's a few things you can do so far. I'm gonna add more in the future, obviously. But um, you can run a program. Right now, you don't have any. There's none in there, as you can see. So we're gonna type it back, and we're gonna add one. Oh, and by the way, I'll show. You, I'll prove to you that um, it runs without uh, a disk or anything. I can restart it, and it'll still let me log in. So information entered successfully, and then it logs me in. Um, while it's logging in, though, I'm gonna sit down this back, and I'm gonna add in another disk, which has a program on it that I made. Um, which is my game actually. So then we have to restart it so it recognizes the disk. Um, and we just have to wait for this. I might take out some of the weight. I mean, 
I just have it wait to, I don't know, I just have it in there, but I can take some out. Um, but anyways, we're going to add a new program, so we're going to type 2. And then the desired name is going to be my game, or we can just type it game. You can type whatever you want, it doesn't even matter. Um, the file path is where the, the program is that you want to copy, or you want to like add to the computer. Uh, so we're going to type in disk slash my game, which is the directory. And then the admin password is uh, practically a, um, it's a security feature so that people don't just add viruses onto it and stuff like that. Um, and only the admin is going to know, obviously. So the program is created successfully restarting the computer. So <coughs> if we log back in, wait for it, and now let me show you. If, um, actually, I'll, I'll show you after. If I click, if I type in one, there's my game. So games. So if you type one, it starts up the game. This is the game from last time. I added in a menu. I didn't do the credits yet. Credits yet. Uh, but if you type in play, it's the same thing. Um, but this time I added in little items that get spawned. Uh, so in my inventory, if you press I, you go to the inventory. There's nothing in there right now. Um, if, but if I go over the W, it uh, spawns wood. But um, I'm going to show you something really quick. While this is loading, I'm going to... Let me type this in. While this is loading, I'm going to show you that um, you don't need the disk to run the game. It's all on there by itself. So I'm going to delete that. And then if we click on one, there's the game still. So, um, uh, where is it? Yeah, um, so if you play it, it's, it's, random, it's randomly generated. There's, the items are randomly generated, and there's only two right now, but uh, it, it randomly generates one to seven items on the ground. So if you pick up the wood, you have the wood, and then if you pick up the stone, you have, or if you pick, yeah, you have the stone. Um, and each time it, re it generates a, a new amount, so it's all, like, it's just all random. Um, but we're going to add in, I'm going to make a new program really quick. Whoopsie. I'm going to add it right onto this disk. Do edit uh, disk slash test term dot clear um, print hey YouTube this is baseball four three five um, and then we're just gonna make it stall I mean you can do whatever you want but I'm gonna make it stall so it's gonna wait until I type a key and then it's gonna exit out of the program so uh, let's get the disk oh my God I did it again Let's get the disk. Let's get back over here. Restart it. It's one base test. <coughs> and we still have the game in there. Um, so let's add the program. We're going to name it uh, test file path is disk slash test and the admin password is what I know and then the program is created successfully restart on the computer and then and yeah this is all saved just like the uh, username and passwords are so base test um, alright so now for whatever reason I added another one probably just a little bug. Anyways, um, if we type in 3, it's going to load the test. Hey YouTube, this is Baseball435. And if we get rid of that, by the way. And then we type a key, it ends. And we do it again, over and over again. And um, yeah, that's that's practically it. I mean, there's still a few bugs in it, like the one that you just saw. I still have to add in a few things, um, like the changing password. And then also, uh, remember when we generated that admin account? Well, uh, this is what it did. It added, it added, uh, it added an automatic account and um, an admin account, and um, you can log in with that. And then it has one extra option. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna add more in the future, like removing users and uh, get rid, get rid, getting rid of uh, program, or getting rid of programs. I haven't done that yet, but um, yeah, that's practically it. Um, I've been working with uh, computer craft a lot too, by the way. Uh, I was on a server and I made a blackjack game. I'm gonna see if I can get that transferred onto here. I have to ask the owner to give me the code for it, though. I typed it all in there. Um, but yeah, that's practically it. Um, 
uh, when I update this more, I'll be back and with another video and stuff like that. And by the way, if any of you are here, if any of you are um, subscribed to me for those Java tutorial videos, I haven't been posting any because my um, my computer crashed and I'm forced to go into Linux. And um, I'm actually on my brother's computer right now, but um, I lost all my files for it, and I just have to take the time to redo them and everything like that, and then I'll be back with more. But I don't even know if if there's like a recording software for Linux, but if anybody does, does know, uh, if you can post a link in the comments, that'd be great. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, base. See ya.